take it like a man and then is that what? not but the problem see, that's, 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 that's what the, the issue is like a man thing what is no. taking it like a man what, what is that you take it like a man you're how do you take being hit like a man Yeah. And so, ladies and gentlemen, what's the chat? Uh, today, we are going to be talking about something that's very special to us as men. Yes. We are going to be talking yeah, about ourselves. Yeah, men are special to me too. I mean, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to be talking about ourselves <laughs> special, special, sis. as men. Men. Yes. Alright, so according to the dictionary, Which the dictionary? dictionary <laughs> A man is an adult human male. According to the dictionary, that is what is a man. But clearly being it's a man deeper is deeper than just being a, 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 a male. Yeah. You know, I guess now you understand that the question of what is a man is actually then based on your own personal morals or your own personal beliefs. beliefs. So according to your own personal opinions and experiences mm -hmm. from what you've been taught to what you've okay. seen, what is Let a man? Take a man is uh usually the adult male who provides for their family mm -hmm. you know who is the head of the house who usually has the most um authority who is supposed to be the more logical one out of the half or the yeah because the other half would be the woman and it's supposed to be more um, emotional. I think that's as far as I can go in my experience. It's kind of tricky for me because I don't believe in gender roles. Mm, absolutely, I don't believe in gender so, roles. Either, so that's there's why it's no very like tricky. certain way I aspire to be. Like when yeah. I say I want to be a man, like because I I want to be a stay-at-home dad one day. Oh, like, okay. So, well. Like, so, so, <laughs> so like when it comes to being a man, I never really I've I've like shut that out. Like it's more being a decent human being mm. and doing what's expected from you as a human being. Okay, so if but you're going to have children, if, you, if I'm going to start a family, it's expected from me to take care of them and, and make sure they have this and provide. And, and so, so not because I'm a man or not because a man does. But because it. you genuinely want to. Yeah, because women provide, like you were saying, mm. like there's women who are in charge of the house, so they're the smart hey, ones. They do A, B, C, and D. Yeah. So I don't know. It's tricky. And, you and what do you guys think yeah, you are doing? so quick. Bro. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it's not our YouTube channel yet. So. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. <laughs> wow. Hard Hard to, to, <laughs> wow. Um, to my personal experience and knowledge, guys, a man is someone who provides. A man is meant to be a leader because according to God, it is God, it is man, it is wife. A man is meant to be a leader and he's meant to be the head of a household. And being the head of a household is not about getting the biggest piece of meat. Being the head of a household but is being able to... But that is a lot of it. That's a very it's, big it's a, part. It's a, it's a part of it, but it's deeper than that. It's <laughs> Are you leading your family? Are you taking care of them and taking up your roles as a father, leading your children, teaching them... That's what I know, honestly, is a man. I guess, for me, that's a basic level definition of what is a man. It's just a person who's just... I think, I think that would be... Meant to lead and... I think yeah. that would be a good man. You know? And a man is strong from what I know. Mm -hmm. And strong doesn't mean you don't cry. You know? But from what I know, a man is strong. A man is a, a, man is a protector. You know? Um, and those are pretty big and important roles from what I know as a man But there's a difference between being a man and being a good man So yeah. I just want to put that out there But yeah, you? Yo, I think for me it's hard to really put it into like one definition Because I've got so many different types of men in my life um, How? Whoa! Not like Where that! Where are my minutes? Where are my minutes? 
You were telling us how there was no man. Guys, calm down. Oh no, I'm a big deal. Yo. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Tell the people why you said a couple of yeah, you run, you... sorry. So yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I've been surrounded by a lot of males throughout my life anyway. So, <laughs> so um it's really tough for me to have one particular description of you know what a man is. I think whatever a man is or whichever man you are thinking of anyway it's just a compilation of of various things of various people um and experiences so i don't know if there's one different things make different men yeah i mean yeah yeah different things will contribute in their own way and affect in their own way and then mm. that makes up with whatever man comes up what makes it toxic well, number one, uh, not being able to be in tune with our emotions. Mm. Number two, whose fault uh, is that? Sorry. Oh yeah, I I feel like that is. Uh, I don't. Do, it, is it possible that that actually has nothing to do with men? I feel like it has everything to do with men. No, it's not because of men that men can't show their feelings. Because men aren't necessarily the ones that are going to be saying, "Oh, he's so weak. Oh, he's not a man. Oh, I can't marry him. He cries." Do you think that maybe it's because it's a woman? Absolutely. That's I fun. think that both men and women yeah. are at fault for that because I think women put that pressure on men. Men don't cry, you're weak. And you know, you get those women who, when they when you fight, it's not funny. Like they'll poke and be like, you're not a man, you're useless and stuff. First of all, a man is a human. Words hurt, words carry power. Man, woman, boy, child, words carry also, power. Also, this business of slapping people. If you're big enough to hit, then you're big enough to get hit. Please. No. Huh. Must never, never reach. No, she's talking about it in the sense of, of from, from a woman's perspective. But still, take it like a man, and then. Is that what? not but the you problem? See, that's, is that's, that's, that's not what the problem? Issue this is. like a man thing. What is no, taking it like a man? What, what is how that? How do you take it like a man? You're how do you take being hit, hit like a man? Could you just take? So it why is this try? woman hitting you? That's what. So why does it have to be a man thing? Exactly. Doesn't Why can't she nothing. think in her mind that I'm not supposed Why to be hitting people? Yeah. Because if this person hits me back, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Why is that not a thing in her brain? I can't answer. I think it's also because she's hiding I prefer not to. the fact that they have there's 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 uh moral and legal protections. Exactly. Them. And yeah. ultimately if that you go to the police they right is now not and gonna say, touch me, so I'm gonna if MZ right now goes to the police station and says, you know what, Lagato is abusing me. They're not going to take him seriously. Oh, bye. Well, what kind of man are you? Clown. Then, you know what Do I mean? Do you see? That's the thing. <laughs> then it becomes a So this of... like a man thing, uh, perhaps that's the problem here. Not even perhaps. That is the problem here. Let's stop this. Like, if we're going to eliminate things that are convenient Thank you. for Thank us you. and say, no, no generals, no this, no that, no that. Let's get rid of all of it. Otherwise, let's leave the conversation altogether. Yeah, this all started because we we're talking about where does the blame lie? Mm. Um, in that you were saying that the blame lies with women, you were saying with men. I think it lies with both because women are the ones who are putting that pressure off. You're not a man. You're not this. You're not that and stuff. Um, mothers are teaching their sons if you cook, you're gay. If you cry, you're gay. At home, from your mother as a child. Again, mm. when your parents say such a thing, you believe it. It's, it's true, right? Men don't yeah. act in a certain way. Your dad, as well, is also pushing the same agenda even more. Um, so I think it does come from mothers, from women, but I also think it equally comes from men. You guys are putting pressure on each other as well. Yeah. You guys are the ones who are creating. Uh, um, an unsafe environment for you guys to speak. You guys are the ones clowning each other for, for real life things. And we as women, we can't change that for you. You are the ones who need to work on that as men yeah, I mean, and fix it, you know? Another thing that we need to work on as men is our egos. Guys have went through the to the craziest lengths to protect their egos because as big as an ego is, it's the most fragile thing mm -hmm. in the world. You think a woman's heart is easy to break? Break a man's ego. That is easy. For example. Oh yeah, women, yo. Women have all the power, guys. Women hold the male ego in their hands. If all the like women this. in the world had to come out one by one and like just drop one secret, like one of mine or one of his, it's curtains is done. I'm sure, I don't know if you'll admit it or not, but there's a girl out there that knows something about you. Jorge, if she had to, you know, oh, let worse. it out there. Oh, worse. I have more info on guys I wasn't even supposed to know because of a woman. You see? 
women, bro. Do you understand? And it's usually the <laughs> same guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. And it's usually <laughs> no, no, me. It's good. usually the same guys that would, you know, try to exact their power and their ego and their masculinity. If a man comes up to you right now, tries to holler at you in front of his gents, and then you reject him, he's gonna sure. get clowned by his gents. Worst case scenario, it becomes a thing of, <laughs> he's gonna try, he's gonna be so hurt by it, he's gonna try everything that he can to protect his, his ego and his manhood. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, he sees you again, nine o'clock, 10ish in the evening, and he's gonna try rape you. Hi, hi, whoa, whoa, whoa. I promise you, ego Sorry. has went to that level. Sorry, okay, I'm not disputing it, mm. but that in no way condones rape, male or female. That It's not a vibe, it, it's not a this, thing. Rape is not caused by lust for another person. Right. Oh, it's a power. It's a thing. power thing. It's Done ego. Weak men. They feel like and they women, need to have women rape. Don't. Women no, no, we're talking rape. about men right men. now. And what do you guys think about men wearing skirts? We've seen Young Thug, Jane Smith, and the and the likes do something like that. What do you guys think about that? Absolutely love it. It could be a sense of pro it, it could be a sense of them protesting okay. because against gender the, norms. the gender norms yeah. and gender norms that no longer work for us anymore. What worked for us back in the 1920s as men doesn't work for us anymore. Is it now. something you do? In what sense? Wear skirts and dresses? Personally, I, mean, I wouldn't know. wear a skirt. Why? It doesn't look comfortable. Leggings, you know how comfortable no. it is to wear a skirt? Do you just leggings, wear leggings. breeze, nice things? You wear leggings, leggings are comfortable, man. Personally, yeah. if I, I can do. find... No, I think skirts aren't necessarily comfortable. Yeah. Things. I feel like they are. I you think, think you know which skirts I would... If anybody can plug me with the... You know that that Brentwood Scottish yeah. skirt. Y'all hey can man, give me please that. comment down below if you know where to find Brentwood. Where can I get that please. Scottish? You know skirts. I Even if it's not Scottish, just I Brentwood. Have, I have I have I have crop tops, and I genuinely wear these things because I want to. I don't really feel like I no longer I have a point to prove it. Okay, so you see it like <laughs> sorry, this might sound some type of way, but <laughs> is there something you see on a girl and you're like, man, I could rock that? Absolutely, yeah. I know it's weird, but I do, shamelessly. I mean, I, I personally feel like it goes back to the thing of, you know, the I'm I'm really big on the whole gender equality thing. Do you yeah. understand? So if a girl can wear guys' clothes and she'll be absolutely adorable, why is it not? No, that, that's not my vibe though. When I wear crop tops, I wear it because it's comfortable. It's comfortable as hell. Yes. It's so comfortable. However, this <laughs> when you start wearing it and the questions you start you get asked, <laughs> it's a thing of okay, but why is it a thing? Exactly. Do you understand? Why is it that... Why are you so bothered? Bro? Why are you bothered by Relax. it? You know, why is it making you raise eyebrows? Mm. I mean, I think it's because, especially here in South Africa, in Africa, we're still way more conservative than a place mm -hmm. like America. Yeah. You know, in America, yes, what are your pronouns? You're free to be you. But this is Africa filled with Zulu men, Kosa men, Tonga men, Venda yeah. men, Nigerian other men who are not going to look at you and be like, you know what? That's cute. That's man. your Do right. You, man. Well, that's cute. You know, because that's not their definition of what is a man. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like you're saying, we're not at that point as, as a nation. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. Yeah. The way, like, you just randomly see it on the street. You know what I mean? So, when People you do, stay if you see it. Yeah, when you do see it, it's like, okay. And then you're thinking, this man's legs are even hairy or whatever. Yeah. And all of that. But, like everything else, if you see it enough times, it becomes whatever. So, if um, your man was like, babe. No, but you see, that's the thing. <laughs> you're getting personal with it. Yeah, but that's, that's, yeah, what that's, that's how you know. feel. That's, that's what Actually, you know. That's how you if feel. If your man came home and, and bought skirts and said, babe, I bought myself some things and it's good. Oh, he says from now on I'm wearing it. Oh, you guys are going out. You dressed up, you looking nice, you go into a nice place, innit? And I you know, but skirt. I understand. Nice skirt. Matching skirt. Maybe not matching per se, hey, but it's a he, he rocks his nice skirt. Matching skirt. As, as an individual, top. as a woman, crop top. are you open to that as a wife? Honestly, I won't lie, guys. I don't understand it. It's not something that I'm gonna bash because I don't understand it. But it's just clothes, guys. No, no, no. Listen, clothes are, listen are a, a part it's of your identity. It's a, it's a, it's a part of That's why when you raise yeah. children, you put them in certain colors, mm. you put them in certain clo clothing because it helps define you or differentiate between a boy and a girl. And so also, clothes are a mm, part of identity, you know? So, 
going back to what I was saying, you don't have to understand it. Mm. It's the same thing with a lot of things in life. You don't have to understand where I'm coming from. At least just respect it. Just don't do force it. your beliefs on, me. on anyone. Or, or I, as a person, can... I have no place to judge you or call you out or whatever, mm. but you have no right to force me to support you, yeah. to force me to be for it, to force me to speak for it or be an advocate for it. I can keep quiet. I can mind my business. I, I should not bash you mm. or I won't bash you but don't expect me to support you and don't be offended if I don't because me not supporting you doesn't mean I'm against you yeah. I'm just Switzerland man I'm staying I out of it. Get it I'm respecting you in fact yeah. and I think that's what we need to remember is if it's respect your man, people how are you feeling You're going out on a date yeah. and <laughs> what's your reaction honestly um, again I respect those who do whatever you do. That's that whatever you do is your business and stuff. But personally, for me, if my man rocked up in a skirt or wanted to wear a skirt, I wouldn't be for it. Um, I wouldn't support it. Why? I'm not attracted to that kind of energy. Um, you know, I'm not attracted to. What is it? What, where's where's the flaw? What's the disconnect? What? I just like, feel like for me, because of what how I've been raised and what I know. The way I receive male energy includes how you dress. I care a yes. lot about how men look. I want my man to look good. I want my man to dress well. That matters to me. That def- helps in defining him as a man. So to you dress know? like so a man. To dress to have like a, a man. What to, to have a more masculine energy okay. and air. That's what I am attracted to. So if he came in a skirt, that to me takes a takes away from the masculine the masculine the masculine energy that I am used to. Not to say that it's not there or whatever, but that I am used to or that I am attracted to. I wouldn't be attracted to it and just yeah man, just just don't. No <laughs> it's not my thing. As my man though <laughs> if you wanna be my man. So I'm my kid, don't want that. <laughs> so I mean bro I'm I'm more I'm about it. Okay, so do you feel that you have been allowed to explore your sexuality as much as nope. a woman has? Nope. No. You see, as guys, if a girl comes to us and tells us she's bi, and we'll be we'll be cool with that. But if you a, as guy, a guy says he's bi, he's bi, he's bi girls it becomes like, an issue, gay, bro. Yeah. I've heard my oh, own. Yeah, I've heard my own friends. Wild. I've heard my own friends say, "Dude, if you have." been with a man before oh, doesn't matter if you think you are bi or whatever you are yeah. automatically yeah. gay but why is that why I is it that's that what also holds women, yes. men back from why is it that why is it that women are allowed you know going back to think of women are completely allowed to explore in fact it's even it's, I don't it's, think it's, should be mad it's encouraged women. it's encouraged it's encouraged you know but with men not not so much do you understand and we've we, we know of how like how it's still such a big deal if you know this man hooked up with another another man and he still has to prove that oh no he's still very he's still very much into women as he was the day before he had hooked up with the man yo as a man once you do that it's gone it's finished yeah like like forever no matter what you say you're rather telling that that you're gay forever yeah that's how it goes you're never gonna be straight again but guys comment down below what your experiences are as a man what is your definition of a man how have you been held back by the name or classification man that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and we will be back with more videos peace and love guys yeah